What's going on guys? This is Kanasty3090 here. Welcome to a new franchise. I was took about a week off, week and a half off from doing some any franchise videos. I do want to bring back some of the old ones, but I thought this was a good time to start a new one with a specific team because of where they are in real life. And I thought this would be a great time to do it. It's not my Red Sox. It's in their division though. It's the Baltimore Orioles. In real life, they're awful. They're I, at the time of recording this, I think almost 40 games out of first place. But the big elephant in the room is Manny Machado. What are they going to do with him? Are you going to trade him? Are they going to keep him and just let him walk? Keep him and try to resign him, which I don't think is realistic. They don't have the payroll for it. So we're going to make that decision for them in this franchise, and we'll continue on. Build a winner. So we're going to try to turn the Orioles into a dynasty. Gym contracts off because they don't like it when you rebuild. Other than that, ignore budgets off. Everything looks good. Uh, we'll start off in the regular season, and we have to just make sure some settings are good. If you guys want to see my settings that I do, you guys can see. Go to mode specific. For some reason, these haven't been saving, so I have to do them every time. So you just, I do manual for everything except scouting. I'll let them scout. You guys always tell me, oh, what do you do for drafting? I hire the best scouts, and I'll let them do their job. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Speaking of which, let's go get the best scouts we can get. We have Central, International, East, West. All right, let's get a better East Scout. Central is fine, and West, not a huge big name, but that's fine. Let's take a look at our team budget. We probably, we have 76 million allocated towards this year. Like I said, Manny's a free agent. Now, in real life, what I think the Orioles should have done is trade him in the offseason. In real life, they probably won't get a huge haul. I mean, look at J.D. Martinez's last trade deadline. There weren't any huge big name prospects. And I think Machado is better than J.D. Martinez, but it's kind of like the same situation where the team that's getting him is probably knowing it's a rental for a couple months, and they won't be able to uh, accure a draft pick. Uh, the team that signs a, a trades for him cannot get a draft pick if he leaves. Now, maybe the uh, in real life, the Orioles are thinking they can get an offer what the uh, uh, Yankees got for Chapman when they uh, traded uh, Aroldis Chapman to the Cubs. They got Glaber Torres back. I think both teams are okay with that. The Yankees ended up bringing Chapman back, and they have a stud young shortstop slash second baseman. The Cubs got a World Series ring, and Chapman was a big part of it. So you can kind of see, like, I mean, you, you may think the Yankees won that trade, but flags five forever. The Cubs, that was the first one in forever. So you can see this team is not that good. There are some pieces that have some value. Darren O'Day, Zach Britton, Brad Bark, uh, Blyer is a good uh, reliever. Rotation's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. The lineup, Machado's good. Mancini's a good young player. I think he's 26, but he's not bad. Uh, Valencia is 33. Chris Davis is terrible. His contract on this isn't awful, which is nice. Scope's a really good young player. He's only 26, but he does have four years of service time already, which did not realize. Adam Jones is getting up there. Chancisco's a good young prospect. We'll see how he develops. If we take a look at top prospects for the uh, uh, Baltimore Orioles. Now, you guys are wondering, I am using Operation Sports Full Miners, rosters 2.5. If you go search for them, I've done videos on this. Search on my uh, channel for that. I'll try to post it. As, we have Hunter Harvey, but he's already 23. I'm not too high on him. I already, uh, I'll probably post a link to that video, which says you how to get the rosters. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anyone. Yeah, Chance Sisko, which he's on the big league, and Hunter Harvey. We don't have much of a farm system. That's going to change. We're getting ourselves a farm system. So let's take a look at the budget and see when players are free agents. So Scope Scott this year and next year, then he's a free agent. Machado's a free agent after this year. O'Day's got two years. He's a free agent. He's 35. I think we should move on from him now. Adam Jones is a free agent at the end of the year. We'll see what we can get for him. Britain's a free agent at the end of the year. Probably should look to move him. Gaussman is up for arbitration. Cobb. <coughs> I mean, we can try see how he does. Chris Davis, I mean, if we can move him, we can move him. Other than that, nothing's too bad. So let's let's get um some sponsors. We always have to do that. We're not going to be that good, so I don't want to do like per win. Let's do per game. Let's do per game. And I guess we'll do per, um, let's do per run. There we go. Now, let's see what we can get for some trades. So we want to trade Machado, Britton, O'Day, probably Givens, and maybe Blyer, who I like, who turns out to be really good in these franchises, but he's 30, and we'll see what we can get. Adam Jones, I think is another guy we can move. So let's start off with a little Adam Jones, I guess. Let's see what we can get from in terms of prospects. 
Hunter Potts? It's not uh, Hudson Potts. Excuse me, not a bad name there. Uh, nothing too crazy yet. Sam Tuavalia. We know we can get him in the Rule Five Draft. We'll just Lolo Sanchez, 19 years old. Um, Nelson Velasquez. Velasquez, excuse me. Nothing too crazy. Peter Alonso. Seth Romero. Magna Sierra. He's not Diaz. Tuki Toysan. Um, maybe. No, this is just Adam Jones. I'm just... We have no need to keep him. We're going to be bad. I just want to see what we can get for him. Isaac Paredes, maybe? He's a shortstop. Looks to be... He could have a good fielder. Can uh, hit a left. He's a... I mean, you, they're not high yet, but he has a B. Potentially, he's only 19. We'll do that for Adam Jones. All right, let's... Um, Brad Bark, there's no point to keep him. See what we we can get. Sam Travis. Nothing too crazy. Danny Jansen. Connor Gillespie. Uh, Casey Gillespie, the younger brother of Connor. Um, Daz Cameron, Mike Cameron's kid. We're saving Machado for the end. We're going to see what we can get for him. Kyle Lewis. Joe Rizzo. Ooh, Joe Rizzo. What's that power looking like? Not too bad. Not a bad hitter. Um, let's take Joe Rizzo. It's just for a reliever. It'll do it. Um... Michael Givens, I think, will be kind of the same. Maybe we can sneak an eight potential in there. Gabriel Arias, another shortstop. JT Ginn, a starter. It doesn't matter what... Ooh, Pavin Smith, done. You mean Pavin Smith. He's been good to us in other franchises. Good young player. He's 22, but he develops pretty well. Um, Britain now, I think we can get... I think we can get an eight potential for him. I may not trade him if we don't. Unless there's like a B that I really like. Luis Gurriel and Richard Urena, those are two big... I mean, that's a middle infield right there. Gurriel, good fielder at second base. The bat might develop. Urena, a good fielder, good vision. I'm okay with doing that. Now, Gurriel's making uh, three million for five years. That is a little pricey. He's a Cuban export. But I might do that deal just for the fact of... That's a middle infield. Now, we do have scope... Ryder Jones, okay. Okay, Michael, we can get an A, so probably won't do that. What? Ooh, there are three B. Oh, man, Britain has some value. I'm Taylor Trammell. Victor Carantini, but we already have a good young catcher, or promising catcher. I don't think I'm good yet. Uh, Trevor Rogers. Ian Anderson's only 19. I kind of like that. AJ Reed, no. <coughs> I like uh, Mighton, but he, I don't know. He hasn't really developed any of these. Tristan, ooh, I'm going to take Tristan McKenzie. I've seen him turn into 90 overalls before so we'll take Tristan now next is Darren O'Day we might be able to get an A potential maybe may not be a high A potential but uh, let's see what's out there what was this guy uh, Mejia is a 70 overall 24 years old B potential Jaime uh, Boraya 15, uh, 69 overall not too bad what else can we get for O'Day Kristen Patch I actually like him Two Bs, Denenberg, Coda Glover. Oh, there's a name that most people are familiar with. Nolan Gorman, I don't haven't heard of him before. The thing is, some of these players were just drafted a couple, uh, like a month ago. So some of them, ooh, Anderson Espinosa. Let's get my boy Anderson Espinosa. I always want, I, I was a huge fan of him when he was on the Red Sox. He got traded for Drew Palmer, Drew freaking Pomeranz. Um, Bundy has a good amount of value. However, I. I mean, we need to have some young. We need to have some value in pitching. So uh, I think the only move left to do. I mean, we could do like Valencia or Chris Davis. I don't think they have much value out there. But I think if we can get anything for Chris Davis, just save the money. Let's see what we can get. I'm okay with basically anything we get. Mike Swarren, okay. We can get a beep. Ooh, Hudson Hudson Potts. What's he looking like at third base? Yeah, we'll take a shot on him. I mean, it's basically a salary dump now. This is the big one. Because this game doesn't really put value on uh, if a guy is signable and like the long-term forecast, we can get a lot for him. Even though in real... Re well, maybe not. Do no teams want to make an offer for Machado? Huh. Do we not have like enough people on our roster? No, we do. Hmm. Let's just call up some people to the 
to the big league roster. I don't know why it's not letting us do the a trade for him. We'll figure that out in a second. Um, just call up some warm bodies. I, we plan on being bad this year, which is fine. Get a good. We're gonna have a relatively high draft pick this year. We'll have a really high draft pick next year, and uh, we can get some. I mean, we know. I mean, we know how to succeed. We know how to like. We know what players, what type of players for uh, pitchers to find to have a halfway decent pitching staff. But I think to get those top prospects, we kind of have to blow the team up, which is kind of what we're doing right now. All right. Um, so double A is way too many people. Let's call some people up to triple A. We might have to sim a little bit before we can trade Machado, which is fine. I'm really hoping that we can get a top 10 prospect in baseball for them. Like in real life, I don't expect them to be able to get that. I don't. I think they're going to get maybe like a top 50 prospect. But they may even just, I mean, the Orioles, I would not even be shocked if they just choose to hang on to him, let him walk as free agent, and get a first round pick for him in there, just hoping we can draft well. Maybe. Let's see if we can trade for him, trade him now. No. Hmm. Can we do any trades with him? That's really weird. It's, it's not like his salary's too high. Well, let's just, um, let's update the trade blocks. Let's put Machado on it. I guess. I wish you could put more positions because we have like every position. So let's go a little bit into the season. Actually, I want to make sure injuries are off. I always like having the injuries off. Just, I don't know. That's just me. Everyone has their own preference. Injuries off. All right, let's get it going. That's probably the reason why it wasn't working. All right, let's just get rid of some dead, dead weight. All right, let's see if we can trade Manny now. If not, we're going to just continue with the season. Okay, now we can't. We have too many people. Bo Bichette. Okay, Bo Bichette's a big name. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. We can get Vlad Jr. Okay. He's kind of like hit or miss in franchises I've done. Sometimes he's a stud. Sometimes he's just underwhelming. His overall always blows up. But does he perform to the overall is the question. However, I'll, t that's a, I'll do that. Oh, Nick Gordon, Zach Granite, and Steven Gonzalez. Three A's. Now, they're not crazy. I mean, I think Nick Gordon, Nick Gordon was a... No, Nick Gordon wasn't. That's one of Tom Gordon's kids. I'm thinking of um Royce... Was it Royce Lewis on the Twins was the number one pick? Willie Calhoun, Leonis Tavares, and Johander Mendez. Willie Calhoun can hit. Tavares is a good player. Mendez is, is another piece. Kyle Tucker just got called from real life. Francis Martez and A.J. Reed. Damn, we can get a lot from Manny. Austin Riley, Mike Soroka, and Connor Lean. Ah, Vlad, I think he's going to win. Oh, Juan Soto, Joe Ross, and Carter Kaiboom from the National. Damn. Soto, what does he look like in this? Pretty good. See what else is out there. Urias and Drew Jackson. Urias and a couple C's. Brendan Rodgers and Jeff Hoffman. All right. Alex Reyes. Brett Phillips. Okay. Dominic Smith Kalenic. Okay. Nothing there. Oh, man. Soto or Vlad? The thing with Vlad is. Where is he? We'll call it, he'll play right now. That back can hit. Oh man. I want to I want Vlad. I, I, I've never had him young. I've always got him later on. Let's get Vlad. We also get a couple other pieces. We're trading him in the division, which I don't care. We're not gonna be contenders. Now I'm not gonna call him up um until Probably in uh, like at the, in beginning of May. That way we have an extra year of service time for him. So let's just go to like here, and then I know there's like a specific date um, when you can call someone up, and it doesn't hurt their service time, or you get that extra year. It's like kind of what the uh, the Cubs did it with uh, what's his face, Chris Bryant. 
we'll be doing the same with Vlad. So let's just go in. I know it's sometime at the end of April, so let's just be safe and go to May. Mikel, we get Mikel Franca, all right, for Grayson Rodriguez. Actually, really like our front. Ooh, he's an A potential. Uh, for Franco, no, he's only 18. He's 59 overall. He's a big time. He's a long way. He's two years away from being two years away. However, Franco, we're going to be calling him Vlad. So, no. Thanks, but no thanks. I wonder how good our farm system is now. Right now, our team's not too... Okay, now we're playing a little worse. We're 12 and 13 and 18. So, we're going to call him up now. Number one prospect is Otani, but that's going to change soon. Vlad's number five. We're going to call him up now. What else do we have now? Should have a few others. Maybe not. I guess not. Well, that's fine. So let's call it Vlad. Welcome to the show, young fella. What is his potential? 99. Not bad. Now, the million dollar question is do I put him at DH <coughs> or third? I think TH. This lineup's not the worst. Like Mancini <coughs> is hitting 369. Nice, five home runs. There's some talent here. That's for sure. Now, the pitching is something to be desired, for sure. But you know what? We're not supposed to contend this year. This is just to let the young guys play, develop. Mancini can really hit. Now, he's also kind of like a DH type player. With his lack of fielding, but we can throw him out and left. Scope can really hit for a second baseman. Pitching. Bundy's pitching great. Gossman's all right. Cobb's okay. Kastner's terrible. Tillman's bad. I have, like, nothing in the bullpen, but I'm okay with losing this year. I actually would rel I would rather want to lose than win. Just get those get the big-time uh, draft picks. Anderson Espinosa for Josh Harrison. <laughs> now, he's a second baseman by trade, but he can play third short in the outfield. We don't need him. I want Anderson Espinosa, young, a young pitcher. We really don't. I mean, right now, our second baseman, Scope, who's actually pretty darn good. Chris Young, I don't want a 34-year-old outfielder. Like, if, what? Wow, we're actually, now, the, the division's just so good. We're 27-35. We're probably, like, 15 games out. Yep. <coughs> 13 and a half. How's Vlad doing, by the way? 361 with six home runs and 119 at bats. Yikes. Um, let's take a look at the scouting now. I don't know what pick we have, but we're gonna. There's there. Oh my god. There's so many. Let me actually do a little quick research while I'm talking here, and figure out what pick the uh, Orioles had. I can just look it up. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of blue chips. Which, these guys should be good. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, <coughs> let's take a look. I'm actually just pulling it up now. The Orioles had the number 11 pick. Alright, so there's 11 picks. And there's plenty of guys here. I don't want to take a closer. And they're, okay, we're going to have options. So, let's just get into the draft. Ninth pick in this. Okay. Do we have any extra picks? Seventh in the second round. Competitive balance round B. We have a pick there. And then ninth pick moving forward. All right. Blue chips. Here we go. Um, Steve Marillo. 60 walks per nine. That's a big stat for pitchers. I mean, I'll still take him. Let's see what else is out there. Eric Prado. He's 22, but he could be rating a couple years. 75 walks per nine. That's a good option. A catcher is already 22, and he's like four years away. Let's see what else is out there. Uh, Cenaros, or Cineros, only 55 box per nine. A closer, don't want to take a closer here. No on that guy, another closer. 70 walks per nine, Juan Esquivel. Esquivel, I think, I don't know. Another closer, another closer, another closer, another closer. A left fielder, Buddy Deluski. 60 and 70, oh, I like this guy a lot. 60, could have 65 and 70 contact, 60 and 70 power, so he's better versus left-hand pitching than right, 70 and 75 discipline, 70 vision, 75 discipline, 75 fielding, 80 speed, 75 stealing, 70 arm, buddy's the move right now, unless there's just another guy that wows me, 
Yeah, Buddy. Ooh, what's this guy? Nope, Buddy. Yep, it's Buddy. Buddy Deluski. Hopefully that was a good pick. Ninth overall. And he could be ready soon. So round two, seventh pick. Tommy Baldwin's here, second baseman. Could hit. Let's see what else is out here. A catcher. Oh, could be 80 fielding with 70 and 80 power. Keith, uh, was it Stefani? Stefanelli. Stefanelli, that's it. Let's take a chance on Keith. Now, we do have Chance Sisko, but, I mean, if that if that catcher pans out, he'll be better than Chance Sisko. Eight, this guy could have 80 walks per nine in Trujillo. Let's take Trujillo there in that extra pick we had. Now we're in round three. Acevedo, uh, I'm getting hit, but he's already 22. Let's see what else is out there. Peter Newcomb could have 80 fielding. About an average, slightly above average hitter, but could be an elite fielder. Let's take Peter there. He's 20. He's a little bit of a project, but I mean, if he could be like a, I mean, maybe like a guy who's like Kevin Pillar, Jackie Bradley Jr. Ooh, this guy could have major power fielding. I doubt he's going to have that power fielding speed combo. I doubt it, but let's take a chance on that dude there. Round five. All right, now we're probably going to take some shots in the dark here. Another guy with 80 speed, but I think we can wait. Let's. I'm going to take a shot. Usually, like, when there's, like, a couple pitchers left like this, usually they always have high potentials. Like, teams just miss on these guys. I don't know why. Like, I bet our fifth and our sixth round pick, if they're both starting pitchers with 80 potential, oh, they're not. Um, is that center fielder still available? Yeah, he is. I'll take the guy with 80 speed. I bet you our fifth round pick, so our second and last pick, has at least an 80 potential. I bet you that. Nope, 74. But we have two A's. Buddy has a 93 potential. I like this guy a lot. He's already 74 overall. I don't see a weakness to his game. Maybe that he struggles a little bit versus right-handed pitching compared to left-handed. But he can has already good vision, good discipline. He's not a bunter, which I don't care about. Drag bunt, I mean, with his speed, would be nice, but he's right-handed, so. Already has 69 fielding, nice. 67 durability, that should improve, too. He should be able to play every day in the field. He has the speed. His arm may not be the best, so left field, which is what his position is, is probably the best position for him. But he's only 20, and he's already a 74 overall and 93 potential. Great pick there. Stefanelli, I mean, he has legit power. Unfortunately, a 79 potential. Maybe the boot bumps up to a B. Most likely, he's going to be uh, a backup or a second division uh, caliber catcher. Second division catcher means like a guy on a team that's not going to make the playoffs. Like our team. Like he could be a catcher on a team like this 2018 Baltimore Orioles. Trujillo has 90 potential. 67 overall, 20 years old. That was a good pick. Newcomb has 86 potential. Great fielding. Like I said, he was a guy with a fielding. I'm not sure if he could hit. Unfortunately, the 33 durability is a little bit of a problem. Bran, uh, Branham, 92 speed, 81 fielding. Look at that. Yeah, his potential is what? 76. He has already, he's 20 years old, has 73 and 58 power. He has 81 fielding and 92 speed. Like, he has, he's really, he's really toolsy with his, like, he's, like, physically... Speed, power, fielding. I like that. Can't really hit, but he can. Does have solid durability. I mean, I think he could be a 25, 25, maybe 30, 30 player. Like, legit could be that. <coughs> he may hit 220, but. Uh, Guerrero. Yeah. 74 potential in this last pick. Good speed. That's pretty much it, but a deep potential. But I really like the buddy pick. That pick looks to be a stud. Let's see what else is out there. Um. There's a clo uh, closer there, but 98 potential. Don't care. Really, anyone that we looked over. That's what I want to see. Sonaros, we did pass him. 99 velo. Damn. His per nines are terrible, except for hits per nine. He's a 50 overall, but he has 95 potential. Escavil, I think we looked at him. 93 potential. Danny Baldwin's a catcher, but I think. Did we pass on him? I think we did because he's already 22. But he does have 97 potential. Two 90s here for the uh, Bra uh, the, the Braves the Marlins. I kind of like our picks so far. 
Um, I'm trying to think of any other names that were passed on. It looks like a good player there. Um, yeah, I really like. I think Buddy. I mean, look at that. We have something with this team, guys. Like, there's a, there's a base. The now the problem is going to be our pitching, but Bundy's pitching really pretty darn well this year. That's something we can focus on. How long is this video? We're about 25 minutes long. I think we'll finish the regular season. There's not much else we need to do for trades. I don't want to... Ooh, scope has so much value. The million dollar... Do we trade scope? I like him. He's only 26. We don't have anyone in the system behind him. Hmm. I... I I'll put his name out there. Same with uh, Blair, who's doing really well at the bullpen. And let's see what we get for offers. We're actually winning, though. Joe Rizzo's a youngster we traded for. Tyler Flowers? No, I'm good. You know, Flowers is a, a, a solid catcher, but no, I'm good. Oh, how's Cisco doing? I didn't even look. 246, one home run. It's not really improving that much. Like I said, he's a good promising catcher, but he doesn't... I've never seen him turn to a stud. But we're actually winning a lot more than I thought we would. We were still not going to make the playoffs because the, the AL East is just so stacked. David Hess for Hector Santiago. No, thank you. Well, how are we in the wild card, I guess? Seven and a half. Eh. Our run differential is terrible. I think we're getting kind of lucky. We also have a stud in Vlad Guerrero. Mancini's doing well. Trumbo has a lot of power. Rasmus having a good year. Like, our offense can hit. Tim Beckham is hitting, but is he getting on base? And 333. Like I said, I, I would rather just have a super high pick and uh, fool around the uh, offseason, maybe sign a, a pitcher or two, build up our system again, and go from there. Sean Rodriguez? Oh, well, he is a super utility guy. Um, I believe he's a free agent at the end of the year, so there's no point for him this year. I think he's a nice player to have maybe in the future, but this year, no. I, ooh, I kind of like La Stella. He's not a free agent. Gets on base, and we're giving up a nothing uh, starting pitcher. Look at that vision and discipline. He, he has an on-base percentage of 393. Like... I can find use for this dude. Like, don't sleep on with Stella. Let's go find a spot for him in the lineup. How's Valencia doing? 272. Where is La Stella? We have so many bench players. He can also play first and second, but let's put him at third. Versus left-handed pitching, we can leave Valencia in because he mashes them. But La Stella's going to hit. And he's going to get on base. I'm going to fix that. Let's send down, um, yes, we'll send down a double A. Just because we have already a full triple A roster. And I'm lazy. Are we at the trade deadline? You know what? It would be, I don't want to trade scope. However, it would be stupid for us not to look at it. He already has four years of service time. We can get Jay Groom. Clint Frazier. Roberto Osuna. He's already 20, already 90 overall, 23. Years old, but I think we can do more. Nick Gordon, Gonzalez, Kyle Tucker. How good is Kyle in this? Pretty good. The problem is we don't have many um, second basemen. We have Tim Beckham, which we could use, but like in like the system. Joey Barr, ooh, a catcher, and Ryder Jones. So Ryder Jones is already 23 years old. How good is he? Was a Joey Barr? I want to say was the number two pick in last year's and the 2018 draft. Mm. Let's see what else is out there. I would love them to, like, if we can get, like, a godfather offer from a team. Dennis Santana? Starting pitcher. What's his, uh... What is his, uh, like, some of his attributes looking like? Terrible walks per nine. Okay, that answers that question. If you guys want to know why I care so much about walks per nine, I did a uh, experiment video in this to figure out what is the most important attributes for starting pitchers. 
It is clearly walks per nine. It's the most important. It's not even close. Well, it's close, but it's the most important. Jonathan India was a top five pick in last year's draft. Twenty eighteen draft. Nick Senzel. I don't think I'm going to train for these guys. Ian Anderson, Austin Riley. I mean, we already saw these. Yeah, I'm going to hang on to Scope. He does have the four years of service time. I think we can maybe lock him up. Give him a nice contract. We, I mean, we have the money for it. That's the thing. Right now, our budget is, what, $49 million for this year. But we only have $6 million towards next year. I mean, we will let guys like Kobe Rasmus, Pedro Alvarez leave. Danny Valencia is $2 million. Gaussman will be a little bit more expensive. Um, where's Cobb? How's Cobb pitching this year? Four seven eight. That's three million dollars. We don't like. We don't need that. <laughs> Let's just get rid of him. This is a longer video, guys. That if you, I do apologize if you don't like the longer ones, but I think this is just important to get this first season done. Uh, ooh, a B potential. Nineteen years old. You will take out Velasquez. A couple other pieces, and we basically just cut the contract of Alex Cobb. And then we have to add another pitcher to the um, big league roster. Uh -huh. Let's send a couple people down to Class A from here. And I guess we'll call up Yona. Gabriel Yona. He's pitching already three three nine in Triple A. That will put him here. How is Hunter Harvey's not pitching great? Espinosa. Oh, we haven't even been using Espinosa. Damn it. There's McKenzie. Eddie oh we have Eddie Gamboa. <laughs> he was a glitch in some older um Diamond Dynasty. Mc McKenzie's potential is going down. How about for top prospects and do we have anyone else moving up in the system or is not really? Hunter Harvey's at 35. Anderson Espinosa's at 43. It's pretty much it. But, I mean, Guerrero's hitting ridiculous. 312, 16 home runs as a 19-year-old. An OPS of 935. Mancini looks legit. I mean, he can't field. Trumbo has 25 home runs. I mean, that's not too bad for just... I mean, he's a bad right fielder defensively, so his wins above replacement's not great. Yep, .7. Estella, 266 average, but he's probably getting on base, 387. I think next year, like, legitimately could be our leadoff hitter. I would not be shocked if he's our leadoff hitter next year. I don't care what his overall is. The guy gets on base. <laughs> gets on base. <laughs> that's what you want. You want your leadoff man to get on base. That's all you want. No, not all. It's probably the biggest thing. Start a game off, get on first. Isaac Parades or Parades. He's a shortstop. I think he's a C potential. No, he's a B potential. So he's a, a prospect for Jed Lowry. Final year of his deal. He's a good player. But I mean he's a free agent. We don't need it. We don't need a rental. We're 15 games under. And I hope it continues to go down. I hope Vlad just mashes, goes four for four every game, and we lose five to four. Paul Fry a closer. Brad Seagler's 38. And, uh, okay, let's finish the season. 70 wins, 70 and 92. Take a look at standings. Damn it. Damn it, the Rays were worse than us. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Probably the sixth, fifth or sixth pick in the next year's draft. Hey, we did well in this draft. Hopefully we can do well again. Vlad, ah, 298, just under 300. 21 bombs. Did steal nine bases, too. A 384 on base, a 490 slugging. Now, he only played DH, so his war won't be crazy high. But maybe he'll be our third baseman next year. I don't know. Or Listella will be. Who gets on base? Man, so Mantini hit 26 home runs. Scope hit 26. Trumbo hit 42. Like, we hit a lot of home runs. Rasmus hit 26. Beckham hit 14. Pitching, Bundy, definitely a good player. Same with Gaussman. Yona pitched well, actually, in limited action. So I think we have a building box for our rotation with Gaussman and Bundy. We'll find other guys who can do that. Bullpen will be, I mean, Blear looks good. He's the only guy I would probably bring back. Hart pitched well. I don't know if that's sustainable, being a 70 overall. 
but that's fine. We have money. We only have three million dollars tied up towards next year, and it's cash and who I probably should have traded, and probably just some like minor leaguers like yeah. Oh, Trumbo, five hundred thousand dollars. That's great. So we have a lot of money to spend next uh, this off season. Obviously, I want to just lock up Scope, maybe lock up Gaussman, maybe. Um, but definitely Scope, I want to lock him up. Mancini, maybe try to get a long-term deal with him. Maybe even Vlad. Just get these guys paid. We have the money to do it. Uh, that will be the next episode. We'll do the offseason. But before we go further, take a look at awards. Chris Sale MVP and Cy Young. Neil Walker got the batting title. We got Rookie of the Year. Ronald Acuna got it in the National League. I think that's those are some big-name prospects. Chancisco got gold glove. 234, seven home runs. Not great with the bat. Um, still an A potential. It's only 23, though. He still, he still has time to develop. Tim Beckham got gold glove at second, even though he played first base for our team. And we probably got nothing else. Nope. All right, well, let's see who wins the World Series, and then we will end the video. Guys, I hope you did enjoy this. Please drop a like if you did. The Dodgers defeat my Red Sox in the 2018 World Series. So shout out to the Dodger fans out there. I know there's a bunch of you guys who watch my videos. Congratulations on this uh, championship in Game 7. They beat my Red Sox. All right, that's it for the video, guys. Episode 1's in the book for the Baltimore Orioles franchise. I'll see you in Episode 2. Talk to you later. Peace.